Good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Andreas. Um, we uh, recently, in the last uh, few months, get a lot of inquiries from South Africans who are looking for Plan B. And so I thought today's video message uh, is really about a potential or possible Plan B. Um, so we, the, the countries which we regularly get asked about is, is, is definitely Mauritius in Africa. Uh, it's Namibia and Botswana. Uh, but I also wanted to, at the end of the video, maybe point out one or two, or one option in particular in, in, in Europe, not a lot of people know about, and I think uh, it's really offering uh, quite an interesting option, actually. So, um, while, while Namibia, <coughs> uh, I think, is close to most South Africans, close to their heart because it's very similar, um, it, it offers, you know, obviously work permits, investor visas, uh, and a retirement option, but you need to be 60 years and older. So, so, so for permanent residence based on retirement in Namibia, you need to be 60 years and older. Um, the financial requirements are not very high. Um, you just need to basically show that you sustain yourself. So that's an option for Namibia. And then Mauritius obviously is, is super popular. We get a lot of inquiries from Mauritius. In practice, uh, the, the biggest obstacle for a lot of South Africans who just are looking for a plan B but haven't decided to completely move is that actually Mauritius um, does offer a three-year retired option uh, and I will come to the requirements just now but when you want to extend the three years then usually they look at how many days you spend in Mauritius and they're really looking for that you're spending more or less more than six months in Mauritius this is not a must necessarily but you really want to move your center to Mauritius and then you might travel into the world or into South Africa, but you shouldn't live in South Africa and occasionally once or twice a year visit Mauritius for a week or two. Um, then the retirement option is, 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 is not a good one. So what are the requirements for Mauritius and retirement option? Uh, in very brief, because I've done other video messages around that, you need to be 50 years and older and you need to be willing and able to invest $18,000 US dollars into an account in Mauritius. Simplified, there's a couple of more requirements, but in the essence, that's it. You get a three-year visa and you can extend it. But again, in practice, the, 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 the residence requirement is, is an obstacle for people who are just looking for a plan B. So what are other good plan B's countries? So um, you know, New Zealand, Australia, they usually exclude themselves as a plan B because uh, the entry hurdle is very expensive, it's very high. The legal fees, the government fees, especially in Australia, are very very high um, and and so, so they typically are not ideal for plan B. Then obviously there are the options of residence by investment in Europe and most South African have heard about Portugal and Spain um, and I think you know with 350,000 euros in Portugal um, that's always an option um, but there is actually another country which is which is really interesting which is Greece um, it requires only 250,000 euros uh, investment into property and obviously there are huge advantages that in, in Greece in particular um, the property values are lower than in Portugal and you really get interesting apartments for instance in Athens you can rent out. So it's, 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 a, it's, it's a system or it's a, it's a way a lot of South Africans who are very active in, in properties really know about and are familiar with. Um, there is one warning sign in, in, in Greece and that's the military conscription or yeah, I think that's the right English word. Um, so if you have children, uh, or male children actually, there might be a danger of uh, being pulled into the military and, and that obviously usually means that you would lose in South African citizenship. But that's not always applicable and you really need to check. So, so I think from a residence by investment perspective, Portugal is very attractive, but Greece, not a lot of people know about, is also very attractive and has a lower entry hurdle and you get more value for your money. Okay. But it's only residence, not a passport. Okay, now I'm coming to uh, my, my last option, not, what not a lot of people know about, and that's France. So in France, you get a one-year residence uh, visa, a long-term uh, temporary residence visa, if you can show that you have savings or income of more than 15,000 euros a year. Now, that's not a lot in, in RAND terms. Um, there's no minimum age. Um, the only thing is you obviously cannot work in France you must retire there or you must then sit in France and work on your South African business or your UK business in whatever the case may be. 
Um, you can extend the one-year visa in France, it's not difficult, and there's even a path to permanent residence and then later on even citizenship. Um, uh, for permanent residence you will require good French language skills. For the one-year retired visa you don't need any language skills. So it's a very low uh, threshold, um, it's really only the 15,000 euros and the medical aid, I think that's an important one, um, and, and then you're in. And once you have a residence, even a one-year residence for France, you can travel in the whole of Europe and that's your plan B because you don't have to be there, right? I mean, you just get the visa, you fly there on a holiday, come back to South Africa, do your business, and then if you really want to exit, you can exit. So France is, a, is, a, is an option that a lot of people know about and we find it very attractive. We're getting a lot of inquiries and actually also assisting quite a lot of couples and, and, and people, applicants with that. So um, we think that France is a very interesting option for Plan B. I hope you found this useful. My name is Andreas Krenzel from IB Immigration Solutions. And yeah, please contact us if you have any further questions. Thank you very much.